Hey guys, how's it going? My name is Lucas and welcome to another video. So uh, I set up my Raspberry Pi and I was finally running my Docker containers, but one problem happened. I run out of space on my disk. <laughs> but what happened was I have a OS that doesn't fit for the purpose to be a server. So I have to flash everything up and install a headless Ubuntu 20. Okay, so I solved the disk problem, but when I run my Docker containers again, my my TensorFlow library broke. <laughs> I could break my TensorFlow library. While I was researching, I discovered that my library didn't didn't fit to work on a ARM architecture where a Raspberry Pi is built on. So I have to upgrade my library to a newer version and do some tweaks that I could run it perfectly. So I'm gonna leave the issue and the solution in the description down below. If you're having the same problem, you can solve it and run TensorFlow on your Raspberry Pi. Do you remember what Max Zuckerberg said about breaking things move fast? Yes, I'm breaking things, but I'm not moving fast. I realize I'm doing very redundant things such as setting up a server and I really need to move forward. So I believe that it's time now to do a sprint session with you guys. As you have been following me from the previous videos, I said that at the weekends I do small sprint sections where I talk to myself and the camera about, on, about things I need to do and what is my blockers and things I need to improve on the application in order to launch the app and things I want to do for the application in the future. And the topic for today is timeline. <laughs> When you open Facebook, YouTube, Twitter, we all go through the timeline and content that they, they show to us. This is the mousetrap of any social media and that's what makes them have their revenue and make them a big platform. So I designed a timeline as well. And it's not, it's not the perfect ones, but hey, I put emojis on it. That's a pretty much a, a improvement I've done on my timeline. <laughs> Why I develop a timeline on my application? There is two main reasons. Number one is to gather information regarding immigration throughout the app from the users. And the second one is to generate an extra revenue on my app. This is one of the things that I like when I open the app. I know that's not perfect, but it is the way that I develop and I design to show you content somewhat the way I want it. I know the timeline sort of things is a little bit dated right now, but I, what I wanted to do is keep people engaged into the application where they can, they can share with the community, create content and consume content that somewhat is relevant to the application. So should I leave the, the timeline or should I develop a new way to pe keep people engaged? Leave a like if you should keep the timeline, leave a dislike if you should rebuild the timeline. I'm gonna leave on the description down below the times and you can jump into the approach you want you want to watch. Alright guys, this is my timeline. As you can see, it's not too shabby, not too bad. There's a lot of design choices here I desire to change, especially of its subjects. For instance, I want users to be able to add more than one subject so this one will be the main change i will do before the release of the app as my application has strong relation to countries it doesn't make sense you create a timeline of, of content where users can post about specific subject for that specific country so as you can see on my sketch here of my timeline at each topic here there is one subject so each subject here, they are related to a topic. So the main three topics I have that my subjects are related is job position, countries and technology. I use it who wants to find a job position content or topic related to a certain country, they can find at the moment because I structure and I design the application to stuck with just one subject. So what I wanted to do right now is change this relationship where a user can post about a job position in a certain country or about technology in a certain country. That's the main change they're gonna do before the release of the app.
So that's my test for this week, change the timeline. And now I have to realize what is the impact this change is going to have. As I'm working alone on this project, I have to look into the front end and the back end and see what, what is the real changes I have to make. So on the front end, the main change is going to be in two screens, the timeline and the post, where it uses the insert data to become a content to the timeline. As I work with React Native, both states of the variables inside the screens are controlled by Redux. And uh, not just the Redux I have to change and the variables in, uh, on the screens, also I have, to change on, I have to change the backend in order to have the response of data this application is going to have. As I work with GraphQL, it's more easier to, to change the queries and, and mutations in order to get this data in a proper way back to the front end. And there won't be any impacts on all the services that I have, such as my machine learning, because they don't have any connection with these changes. If you scroll any niche social media, such as LinkedIn, which is related to jobs, you can see the timeline becomes a mix of company advertisement and work self parting achievement. Just to be clear here, there is no problem with self-achievement. I'm not judging you that's doing this because being recognized as something that you finish it's good for you and keep you going. Therefore, I really don't know if this feature brings users back to the platform in a healthy and sustainable way. Nikijin has another feature such as the CV and the job searching platform. They are very unbeatable. And this social media, they figure out a way to be a very strong competitor even for Facebook on this advertisement through social media. There is a lot of different players in the market and they all try to bite a little bit of the LinkedIn success. And I believe that my, my app is somewhat related to LinkedIn as well. So my application and all these other players on the market, we all somehow gravitate around LinkedIn success. So anyway, I have to be honest with you. I hate this current kind of timeline because first, no one cares about your achievements or self party advertisement on LinkedIn. This approach just creates a fake environment where people feel compelled to engage because this is sort of a networking. The second one, you're wasting your time engaging with this type of content. Rather than you being looking for a job on LinkedIn, you liking and commenting on other people's self achievement and that this is not going to bring into line to other companies that are trying to hire you. What you create here is just noise over data, but it's data nonetheless and you are helping LinkedIn. And why this is good for LinkedIn? Well, because more engagement means more people trap on the platform and then more they can sell advertisement. So for them to have this type of timeline is good because now you can scroll there and see people engaging to each other and between this engagement, you're gonna have some sort of advertisement from different, from different companies. Am I being a little bit cocky here? Yes, I'm being a little bit cocky here. But th sometimes there's no better way to show you something that I, I'm feeling that's wrong. But don't take anything that I'm saying here as the ultimate truth. I'm not a guru, okay? So as I feel that's not the best approach for timelines, I need to understand how to generate a better one for my application. What I have to do right now is study what other applications they are doing in order to generate engagement and better knowledge about how people generate and consume content. Let's go study what they are doing. So here I'm going to be aiming all the top platforms like YouTube, Facebook, Twitter and TikTok and also non-social media platforms such as Netflix. So now that I've done this research, I have to look at the, what I've designed and what I've researched and see if there is a better way I can transform my timeline in a different feature that can keep people engaged. Of course, the amount of data of the research is a lot and of course I can't show anything there, I can put anything there and I believe that I need more researching. 
So for this video, I'm not gonna be able to finish this researching and implementing a new feature. So I'm gonna split this video in two or three parts. Then you guys can follow subscribing and commenting down below. So that's pretty much it. See you next.